Collecting a muscle sample What equipment do you need? To collect a muscle sample, you will need gloves, tweezers, a scalpel, 95% ethanol, it's best to use this to ensure that the DNA is preserved, paper towel, a plastic bag, and an identification tag. Based on analysis to be performed on the muscles, specific conditions may be required, such as using a ceramic knife or sampling in a plastic-free environment. So it's important to know in advance what kind of analysis will be performed so that the appropriate equipment is used. OK, now you're ready! How is the sample collected? Don't rush to sample the muscle tissue. Before you do anything else, put on the gloves and use the ethanol to disinfect all the equipment that will touch the fish to avoid contaminating the samples. Take care as you continue. Once the equipment has been disinfected, it should only come into contact with the fish muscle. The scalpel is used to cut a 3 to 4 cm square piece of the dorsal muscle. You must separate the skin and the scales from the muscle by holding the skin with the tweezers and scrapping the skin with the scalpel. Place the piece of muscle in a plastic bag using the tweezers, making sure that the muscle does not come into contact with the work surface. This bag should also contain an identification tag that can be inserted using the tweezers before or after putting the muscle in the bag. Next, mark the bags containing the samples. Ideally, this would include the name of the species and the project's date and name to make it easy to locate the samples. Last step! Store the bags at a temperature below minus 20 degrees Celsius and, if possible, below minus 40 degrees Celsius or even minus 80 degrees Celsius to preserve them for a longer period. There you go! Your samples are ready to be sent for analysis. Did you catch everything? Here's a summary of the method. Disinfect the equipment. Cut a muscle sample using tweezers and a scalpel. Separate the skin and the scales from the muscle. Store the sample in a labeled plastic bag. Keep the bag in a freezer or cold storage before sending the sample for analysis. Join us for upcoming episodes to learn all about sampling from otoliths and gonad extraction and processing.